Thirty paintings devoted to Kazakhstan's historical past were presented in the Museum of the First President in Astana. The paintings include Proclamation of a Khan, Kere and Janibek, Death of Isatai, Mahambet, and The Duel. The exhibition by artist Murad Beg Jolamanov has a symbolic title speaking to the origins. The works of the painter include paintings based on ethnographic and epic stories. Each of his work is unique. In order to show the historical personality, the master thoroughly studied the chronicles. His colleagues, relatives, and friends remember with warmth the vibrant life and creative ideas of the artist. He passed away but left his great legacy. The scale range of his skills and style are reflected in his works. He used different styles and there are spherical, realistic and abstract themes within his very interesting work. Indeed, the master tried the genre of realistic avant-garde, too. The style can be found in his paintings like The Ghost of Attila, The Amulet, The Dance of the Dragons, Return of the Corket, etc. Unexpected artistic techniques and expressiveness are the main differences of the master's paintings. According to art critics, the whole series of landscapes by Murad Beg Jolomanov are the most real hymn of the nature. I want to say that he was I want to say that he predicted the new upcoming era. Today, the Kazakh culture, through the efforts of our painters, sculptors, musicians and ballet dancers, is becoming more sophisticated and well-known in the world. If you saw Murad Beg Jalamanov's works of 1998-1999, he created those paintings and showed those symbols that were interesting not only to the people living in Kazakhstan, but also to the people of other countries. People spoke about Murad Beg Jolomanov as a person who was ahead of his time. The art critics still admire his unique manner and technique. He dreamed of showing the world a multifaceted and amazing history of his land and the heritage of his people. His wishes came true. Today his work is not forgotten since the master's paintings are stored in museums and private foundations of Turkey, Poland, England and Korea.